Hey, what's happening? This is Ward Wrestling Live. We are back this evening. I've got a great guest. Uh, what a surprise for me. I just met him the other night and uh, dealing with my son. And next thing I knew, he's on the show with me. So, man, uh, first of all, his name is Nate Keaton. He comes out of Ohio, where he was a two-time Ohio State champion, four-time state placer, one-time Ironman champ, two-time sure. Ironman placer, uh, and he's won uh, a multitude of tournaments and everything, and we'll talk about all that, but we've got him on here tonight, uh, a nice young upcoming wrestler. So, man, what's up, Nate? It's great to meet you. Uh, you doing? Thanks for coming on, man. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be on the show. Yeah, so, hey, so what have you been up to? Uh, just rolling around with the uh, Lake Highland Prep uh, wrestling team and um, trying to get my weight in control. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, I see you over there with uh, uh, helping out on the little guys at CFWA and stuff. So yep. uh, that's fun. That's awesome. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're having a blast with you in there. But, yeah, I know uh, you're trying to get yourself ready to get back into college and, and, and yep. compete. But, you know, we'll talk about that. Um, First of all, you know, growing up in Ohio, that's kind of one of the hotbeds of wrestling, right? Right, powerhouse. Yeah. You know what? What? What makes Ohio so great at this sport? It's a good question. I mean, I say that just the rooms and schools around each other. Um, I mean, you can go anywhere in the state, and there's going to be a good room. There's going to be some hammers. So, I just think that you know everybody feeds off each other. So. Um, we, we never had problems, you know, finding good competition anywhere we went. So that kind of, that's the difference, huh? Yeah. Man, cause, you know, we, we always hear uh, the kids from Ohio, Pennsylvania, Iowa, exactly. uh, you know, those hotbeds. Now we're seeing the South start to start to grow. Uh, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've been around the Southeast now for a little while. What? You know, what does wrestling look like to you down here? Well, I mean, I've, all, I've only been in um, Lake Highlands room, basically, and everybody in that room is a hammer. So, um, but yeah, it's, you know, the sport's growing and that's what it needs, you know, it needs to keep growing. And um, here in, you know, South Florida, especially, and um, uh, at um, Lake Highland, it's just crazy. I mean, you know, the coach, Mike Palazzo, all the wrestlers, everybody, it's just ridiculous how good everybody is and how the program went from, you know, nothing to how big it is. So. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Well, you know, talk about, speaking of programs, talk about your program over in uh, Circleville High School in Ohio. Yeah, um, very small program. Um, I mean, there's probably a couple years in high school where we have maybe 10 to 15 wrestlers. So, <laughs> I mean, it was small. But um, uh, my uncle and my dad did everything they could to get us to different rooms after practice and this and that. And um, we had a couple move-ins that um, really helped me excel in the sport. Um, but I wouldn't change it for anything. So, I mean, Circle is where I'm from, and I'm glad to be there. So, Yeah, yeah. And, and what, what uh, you know, what has that coach and, and that wrestling staff meant to you? I mean, they're, they're family to me, so, I mean, they mean the world to me. I love them, but, um, I mean, they did everything they could for me ever since I was a little kid, so, since, since I started the sport. I, I mean, I probably started when I was four or five years old, and um, they were taking me to and from practices, um, to and from tournaments, state to state. So, I mean, really, I just, um, I'm just happy with uh, how they made me progress to the top level. Yeah, and, and obviously uh, you you made it to states all four years, right? Um, yeah. Now you placed two years. Well, you placed all four years, but yeah, two but times. You, you won it twice. Now, was, right. was did you win it your junior and senior year, or did you win it early on? Uh, my junior and senior year. So you know what what changed from your your early part of high school to to going into that junior year that you think made you excel to get to the top of that podium. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a maturity thing. Um, 
Also, like I said, we had a couple move-ins that came to uh, Circleville, Caleb Brooks and Trey Finnerty. And um, they were my drill partners. We were all around the same weight. Um, so they really helped me uh, kind of get to the next level, getting to see new competition instead of wrestling, you know, the same kids every day. But um, it was just uh, confidence, too, I think. I think it was a confidence thing as well. Like, um, my junior year, I took fourth. Or my freshman year, I took fourth. My sophomore year, fifth. And then first and first. And um, I always knew I was going to win state. I always told myself I was going to. And um, to see it pay off my junior year, um, it made it I, – I just, I just knew going into my senior year that uh, nobody was going to stop me. So – yeah, I was going to ask you, you know, what what did becoming a state champ do for, for you, your confidence? And then I'm sure the phone started ringing from colleges and things like that. But right. you know, what did it mean to you to finally accomplish that? <sighs> That's a big question. Um, I mean, it was my goal since I was a little kid. I never knew about Ironman until I got into high school. I didn't know anything, about, you know, nothing about any of those other big tournaments, really. Um, I went to Super two a few times, but the goal was always to be a state champion. And, um, I mean, it was just, I mean, to see, to look back and, like, when I was, you know, four or five, six, seven years old and have my uncle, my dad take me to places, you know, two hours away just for practice. And uh, finally, you know, have it pay off. It was just, it's a, you know, I can't even speak the feeling it was. It was, it, was, it was crazy, man. And I still think about it all the time. Now, did, did you – now, coming up in wrestling, I know you started at a young age, so mm -hmm. that probably just – do you think the constant mat time starting at a young age um, got you to be where you are? Do you think that's something that's do, – do kids, do kids need to start at an early age like that to become great, or can, can you start at a later age or – you know, what is the importance of mat time? What is the importance of of traveling the country? What do you put the most importance on to grow yourself and, and wrestling your way? I will say, like, personally, I mean, everybody's probably got a different opinion. But for me, personally, <clears throat> I think it's good to start at a younger age. It's, like, very valuable because, I mean, I know kids that uh, started wrestling – you know, freshman year, or eighth grade year, and they're studs by the time they're, you know, junior, senior. And it's like, dang, like, what could he have done when, you know, you started wrestling when you're younger? You know, like, they get to the, you know, eighth grade, freshman year, they start wrestling, and, you know, they're starting to pick up on the things we learned when we were four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? So I think, I mean, when you're wrestling at a, you know, um, at the young level, the youth level, um, I think it's really important. And it's, um, you know, you're, you're way ahead of the game. Um, I mean, like I said, it's different for everybody, but the younger you are, um, for me personally, when you start the sport, that's, you know, the better off you're going to be. Um, it's just, like I said, just way ahead of the game, way in front. So um, that's a big thing. And then obviously, like you asked, I mean, confidence. Everybody asked me, like, is it hard work? Is it this and that? I've seen wrestlers who don't work hard at all and are, you know, national, you know, nationally ranked top five, you know, state champions, this and that, and they don't work hard. And I see kids that work their tail off, but they can't, you know, they can't win that state title with that big match. So really, I think with wrestling, a lot of it's just like in the mind. It's a, it's a mind game and um, confidence is where it's at. So the more confident you are, uh, the better you're going to compete. Um, if you think you're going to win the match, you probably are. If you think you're going to lose, you probably will. So, and I, and I hear that a lot. Yeah. And you know, the, the, like my issue, like I have, you know, coaches or whatever around me saying, Hey, you, you have to put expectations on your son and that I'm like, well, you guys can do that for me. Cause you know, I love what wrestling has done for him and I love the sport because of it, but I'm not, yeah. I guess I'm not that, like I tell them, hey, go out and have fun and do a good job. But I'm not like that dad that's like, you got to win or you can't come home. <laughs> I have a big topic. On, well, I think a lot. I mean, I think a lot of dads, I mean, kind of kill the sport for their kids. Um, that's like how my dad was on me and my uncle. 
send me out, go get them. Like, wrestle your hardest. Only time he'd be mad if I didn't give 100%. Like, you know what I mean? Try, you know. put. It yeah, that's all. I, I tell him, hey, the worst that happens is we're getting chicken wings early. And he's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the worst thing that'll happen. We'll be out, out for dinner early. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, told- I, guess I, I guess I need to say bigger things to him, but I don't know. But yeah. Maybe he'll listen to this and hear your mindset stuff and, and uh, yeah. help him out. But man, so uh, coming out of high school, I, I'd imagine at your level in Ohio, you were recruited. Um, yeah. You chose Wheeling Jesuit. Uh, first of all, if anybody doesn't know, they cut their program, but um, that wasn't known when you were coming into the program, right? So right. you signed up for Wheeling Jesuit. You know, what made that, first of all, what made that the choice for you and made that the, the place you thought was going to be your home well um before all that um my, i think my junior of high school i think it was late junior year um you know after winning states or whatever i uh, committed to ohio state um i got a call from jay jaggers they were recruiting me tons of, you know a few other uh, pretty nice programs division one and uh so i committed to ohio state and then later my senior year i decommitted and then i decided to go to william jesuit um i mean I don't know if I'd say I regret it or not. Um, it was a great program. Coach Coach Irwin at um, he's now West West Liberty, awesome coach. I mean, me and him are super tight. But um, I've I've always wanted to uh, compete Division One and uh, still do. So, um, but what made of, you change your mind on Ohio State? I guess my mindset with that was. Um, uh, not, I'm going to say not believe in myself, but um, I wanted to, like, get right in there and compete. I didn't want to wait. And, um, I mean, Ohio State, I was guessing, you know, I'd probably redshirt and then, you know, maybe, be, you know, have to wait a couple of years until I was um, actually wrestling, competing in the lineup. But, um, so, I, I mean, I just wanted to wrestle. I wanted to win. And, uh, hey. you know. You know, and then, I, I, from what I understand, your red shirt freshman year, you did pretty good at Wheeling Jesuit, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what my record was. I think it was like maybe 16 and three, 16 and four, something like that. But I won the red shirt national tournament. Um, so I, I did pretty well. Um, I lost wrestle offs. That's why I red shirted. Um, Cole Lea, he was he's from West Virginia. Um, he was ranked in the country as well when we um, graduated high school, but. We had a couple of wrestle offs, and um, he beat he beat me like I think it was six to three, six to four. And I remember calling my dad, and I was like, "Dude, I just lost to a freaking turd." I'm like, <laughs> I lost to a turd, and Dad's like, I, "You know, I'm sure he's not a turd. He's probably pretty good." He yeah. went on, to, he was undefeated all year, and went to the national tournament. <laughs> lost to my yeah. Have you told I'm him like, this story before? Oh yeah, he's one of my <laughs> he's one of my best friends. <laughs> I'm like, awesome. dude, I thought I was a turd. <laughs> we became really good friends after that but before that we were just we were grinding we were trying to we both were in you know dog fights at practice and trying to you know get in the starting lineup at 125 but yeah, he ended up going undefeated until um national tournament he lost in the semifinals three to one in overtime to the kid oh. who won. and uh he, he took third though so uh, I was your boy like, jacob oh. simpson's on here jacob simpson yeah he's saying nate keaton my hero <laughs> His favorite restaurant is Wow. <laughs> yeah, we wrestled at uh, West Liberty together. That was our, like, food court, Wow was. <laughs> That's awesome. My boy. So, said- Jacob. Uh, oh. Cool, man. So, you know, obviously, they cut the program. I mean, what did that – that had to break your heart? Yeah, dude, it was sad. We, um, as a team, we took second in the country uh, that year. It was my uh, – Redshirt freshman year, we took second in the country. We came home from nationals. Coach Irwin threw up a practice the next day after we got back. We were, I was thinking we're going to take, you know, two or three weeks off. And no, Coach Irwin was like, calls a practice. And we were all like, what? And we get in there, start rolling around. And he comes in and some, you know, big guy, one of the administrators at the school comes in. And uh, Coach Irwin tells us to get in a circle, sit down. And they tell us right there, it was a day after we took second in the country. They said, you know, wow. we're cutting the program due to financial reasons, this and that. And it was heartbreaking. But, but man, hey, uh, life throws you curveballs, right? But 
Hey, exactly. man, any, any D1 schools out there listening to this show right now, hit, hit my brother up. He's ready to get back on the mat. Uh, obviously, get an education, but right. get another opportunity at a, at a, a D1 level. Um, is, is, it, is it now for res, wrestling at the next level? Is it, you know, for any college coaches out there listening, uh, is it D1 or bust for you now? Or, or would you, do you just want to get back into college and wrestle again? Um, I mean, I think I just want to get back into wrestle, honestly. Um, I think it's either D1 or bust if I'm not going back to West Liberty with, you know, all my team that I went sophomore year. Um, like Jacob Simpson, he's on here on live chat, so he's going to show <laughs> coach tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to be back, man. I just want to wrestle, um, especially uh, flying down here and uh, wrestling with, you know, the top kids in the country here in Lake Highland and just scrapping and being on the mat again, putting those shoes on, lacing them up. I mean, it, you know, every day it gives me that feeling like it's you know, getting your blood back again, right? Yeah. Got to get back in there, dude. Yeah. Because I, I think um, talking to some people, you kind of were down a little bit, right? You were like, Hey, you know what wrestling's done for me at yeah. just so it cut out, you know, you were kind yeah. of uh, hard on yourself, right? Right. But, but getting back in a room and rolling around and, and, and just feeling that again has really gotten your confidence back? Yeah. Um, I mean, and my your love for the sport, right? That's it. That's it right there. My confidence has always been there. Um, it was just, uh, I mean, I can, I don't want to like, you know, sound cocky or anything, but I can go a year without wrestling and step on the mat and look better than I did a year ago. Like, <laughs> so I just think like, you know, being away from the sport helps. And, um, it, yeah, you're right. It did help me find the love for it again. And, you know, you don't know what you have. Until yeah, you there? You there? Oh, I think he froze. Nate, 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 come back, Nate. There we go. On there, my bad. So, hey, hey, we got Nate back right now. Uh, I'm back. Yeah, I think you were just saying uh, you don't know what you have until, you know, until it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, good, man. It's good to, um, it's good to hear that. Hey, yeah, I was obviously in a funk, right? I, I, I picked a program. I loved the program and then it went away from me. And uh, yeah, it definitely can make you change your, you know, what you think life is meant for or whatever for yourself. Right. right? So, yeah. Well, yeah, you'll be back. Good for you for, for getting yourself back into a room. Uh, you know, I know you you uh, you coach a little bit on the club side and and yeah. uh, being around those those kids. I'm sure you can see the love in their eyes and, exactly. and, and you, you see that. But um, obviously, we just talked about what's next for you and kind of future goals. Um, you know, right now it's, you know, get back into competition. But, you know, what has wrestling meant or done for you? in life um it's made me who i am i mean uh in every any position um i'm in during the day um any mood any anything i have to overcome and get through i mean i think it's i think i get through it because of the sport of wrestling what i grew up in it just gives you that mental toughness that grit that grind um it's, I mean, there's, there's situations where I'm in and I see how my friends react to it that are in the same position as me. And I watch how I react to it. And it's just, a, it's a big difference. I mean, it's different, it's such a different approach. And um, I wouldn't want it any other way. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a mental, it's a, it's a mental thing. Wrestling is the, the whole game. You're not playing baseball with, 
you know, 11 people or whatever it is on the field or playing football with the whole team. It's, you know, you step on that line, it's you against another warrior and you're, you you got to go to war. So, I mean, it just gives you that mental toughness where it's like, you know, it's, you know, win or lose here, do or die. So, I mean, growing up and, you know, doing the sport as a kid, like I was at four or five, six, you know, when I started the sport, um, it's, it's carried on with me through my whole life and, you know, every day, even when I, when I'm not competing. So, man, that's all. Yeah. It's, uh, what do, what do some people say? It's, it's, it's an unbelievable individual team sport, right? Cause yeah. you're competing on a team. However, you go out there as an individual one-on-one exactly. and, right. uh, and, and you've got to compete and, you know, you know, I, I played tennis younger. It was one on one, but it's yeah. And and it had that same that same feel as the individual team sport, but not that same feel as a bat. Like I'm not going out there to like physically fight somebody, right? Like yeah. you guys are. And I know the 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 wrestling coach. It's not a fight. It's a match, right? I'm like I get it, but let's be real. I mean, it's it's pretty much a fight, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, and. and a tough man win, but what I love about it is the handshake at the beginning, you know, um, and then at the end, the the hands usually shake. And, you know, there are right. some kids that maybe get a little frustrated or right. sad, and they may just walk off. Oh, Which, yeah. I get it. I think I think every kid or every human has had their their moment of pouting, right? So, oh yeah, <laughs> we we all oh, get yeah. that. But but I think once everything cools down, you now you see those two kids sitting in the stands, like whatever. Sharing oh. a drink or hanging out or BSing, but they just hated yeah. each other for six minutes, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I yeah. think that's what I like most about being a, a fan of the sport. It's awesome, dude. I mean, there's still, uh, you know, there's still parents and, you know, opponents that I wrestled who, you know, were there and talked to us. Um, like, for instance, my mom, um, she passed away in 2015. She had cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. And, oh, you're fine. And um, I didn't. I haven't talked to. I don't know if you're uh, aware of the name, but Jordan Crace. He wrestled at St. Paris Graham. He's at uh, Michigan State right now. Um, we had battles growing up, and um, they were the first ones there at the uh, viewing. You know what I mean? They didn't tell us they were coming three hours away. Their family drove all the way there. That's. It's just like moments like that. It's like that's what the sport does for you. What the sport does, yeah. Yeah, I had. Um... Oh, I had the young man that won, um, was it Super 32? He's at St. Paris Graham. I had him on. He was a real nice, he's a real Which nice. Which one? Guy. What was his name? I had him on a couple times. He's going to kill me because I never, I've had, I can't believe I'm it. I'm bad with names too, dude. So bad. Let's see. here yeah he's such a good kid i got to meet him out there uh, i had him on twice uh, Al martin yeah i had him on <laughs> right before oh hey there kelly wilt ramey alec martin yes thank you alec That's martin right. sorry right. man you know i love you but i i have so many names in my head but i had him on right before the gfc and then i had him on after the super 32 oh good dude man that's who um i wrestled in the state finals my senior year Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I mean, just his story and the way he moved to Ohio and, I mean, just everything about it was just amazing. Where was he from originally? Uh, it was down south somewhere, I think. He said his, wow. he was sitting with his dad and his dad asked him, you know, what do you want to do with life or with the sport or something? And he says, well, I want to be great. And he said, well, it's not going to happen here in – whatever state they were from yeah he said let's go find the best and then the, wow they did their research they found spg and that's where he ended up and wow. it obviously paid off right oh yeah he's <laughs> a st- i mean i wrestled him my uh senior year when he was a freshman so uh he's still just a little kid but um i've still i've seen what he's been doing so yeah i mean awesome. a great, great I won the country or something but wow Thank you, Ms. Ramey, for helping me out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I've had, you know, I've only done 400 and like 40 of these things. So I got to remember <laughs> sometimes I miss, yeah. miss some names, but all right. You ready for 10 questions? Go. All right. Ankle pick or high C? Ankle pick. All right. Cheese conies or skyline chili? Skyline. Arm throw or arm drag? Arm drag. Corned beef or pastrami? <laughs> uh, pastrami. It's a hard one. Half or cradle? <laughs> cradle. All right. The Bengals or the Browns? The Browns. I'm <laughs> the Browns Dog pound. <laughs> All right. Leg lace or gut wrench? Yeah. I didn't wrestle much freestyle, but I'd go leg lace. Columbus Burger or Chili Dogs? Mm, let's go Chili Dogs. <laughs> Suplex or head and arm? <laughs> uh, I've never hit a suplex, so head and arm. All right. I guess these, these famous ice cream shops, Grater's Ice Cream or Buckeyes? You don't never had either. No. <laughs> All right. Peanut butter, buck cup, buck peanut butter cups or Twix? Twix. Oh, man. Do you, do you yeah. eat them by layers or do you just bite it right in half? I bite it right in half. <laughs> <I'll play. laughs> I'll put them in the fridge, let it get cool. Oh, that's the best. Uh, it's the best, man. Hey, man, this has been awesome, man. I appreciate you coming on here. And, of course, and doing thank this you. With me. And um, as soon as we get off, I'll, I'll throw it on YouTube for you so you can share it with your family and stuff. Sweet. Thank you. Uh, but, but it's been awesome. Thanks for everybody that's tuned in. Uh, you know, thanks. I know you worked with my son a little bit this week. So thank you so much for that. Of uh, he needs the help. So, yep. uh, and, you know, and uh, shout out to JC. JC. <laughs> All right, man, you take it easy. And uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll see you soon. All right. Sounds good, man. See you, Dan. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.